we now have a flashback to a couple of weeks ago when the two top teams met at South Hobart and it was a three-all draw between South Hobart and Hobart Olympic and we've got the two coaches here with us. What were your thoughts on that game, Ken? I thought it was a cracking match. Uh, certainly the crowd got good, uh, good value for the money. Um, good goal scores, there was some good passage of play from both sides and uh, while we thought we dominated the first half and created a few chances, uh, Olympic came back in storm and fashion in the second half and made a great spectacle of the game. Farrell, your side went 3-0 down. Did you think it was curtains at that stage? 2-0 uh, down, yes. I mean, the way we were playing, we knew we'd be struggling. Uh, the lads, for the benefit, came out the second half, dug deep and we got back into the game. I think as Ken has stated previously, 2-0 up is the hardest result to keep hold of. What did you say to them at half time, Farrell? Um, nothing too severe, I'll be honest. We just basically got back down to what we know our game should be, uh, or the way that we should play, and they responded well to it, basically. We just saw Michael Buellis miss a chance there when he chipped the goalkeeper. He seems to try that a lot, and it goes wide. He's tried it a couple of times now, and he's promised me he'll never do it again. <laughs> I believe he scored two goals against Karuna today, so he, he came good. He is, yes. Ken, what did you think uh, when you led 2-0 and they got back to 2 all? I thought we were comfortable at 2-0, um, but it is a dangerous scoreline, and we mentioned this at half-time. Um, but we never responded. You know, the the challenge was there for us to to get get at Olympic again and finish the game off, and we didn't do that. And uh, you know, the table, the top of the table would have lo lo looked a lot different if we'd pushed on in this game. But we didn't do that, and and full marks to Olympic. They showed great spirit to come back at us. It was probably a fair result for the neutral observer, wasn't it? Three all. Each team got a point, and it keeps things pretty tight at the top, Farrell. It does. It definitely does. Which is good to see. Well, Farrell was uh, very quiet at half-time. I was very vocal at the end of this game. What do you think the result will be when the two teams meet uh, at the Athletic Centre, Ken? I would be happy at 2-0 at half-time score. <laughs> I think it'd be a tight game at the Athletic Centre. It's a different ground altogether to South Hobart. And, um, both teams get a chance again to, to go again head to head against each other and finish each other off. It's an important game, the next one. This is a great goal by Chris Takiris, Farrell. It's a really good strike by Chris. He has potential to do this on a regular basis. It's just yeah, getting the chances to do it, basically. And Grillas with two goals was very good. He's a deadly scorer in the box, isn't he? He's a great goal snake. He's just a natural goal scorer, he really is. And a simple goal there, Kim, to make it 3 all. Yeah, but if you can get behind the defence to the byline and pull them back and you've got people bombing into that near post area, that's where goals are scored. We had to start the second half well because 2 nils is always a nervous scoreline. We were always creating chances, so I felt we could get another goal. There was a goal in us all the time. But we'd missed that many chances, you feel like it's never going to go for you. Yeah, I think Zebras will be happy. Great comeback. Disappointing to let them have two goals in the first half, two defensive errors, a few injuries, players were starting to get tired. As I said again, a real good crowd pleaser basically, I mean this is what soccer has needs I think, I mean this is what the crowd needs, a thrilling game. Okay, we can go into the Southern Premier League results and the ladder, Ken. Uh, Tilford Zebras 3, Glenorchy Knights 4. South Hobart 7, Kingborough Lions 0, Clarence 2, Metro 1, University 2, Newtown Eagles 1 and Taruna 2, Hobart Olympic 4. Uh, the standings are at the top South Hobart and Hobart Olympic on 16 points, followed by Glenorchy Knights and University on 15, uh, Tilford Zebras 13, Clarence on 10 and down the bottom half are uh, Newtown Eagles on 5, Kingborough Lions on three, Metro on three, and Troon on two. Thanks, Ken. And Farrell, uh, some interesting results in the north of the state. There has been. Uh, Northern Rangers one, Devonport City one, Prospect Knights two, Alveston one, Riverside nil, Launceston United. <coughs> Riverside 
3, Launceston United 0, Launceston City 2, Somerset 3. The league standings are Prospect Knights 18, Devonport City and Burnie United 13 apiece, Northern Rangers 11, Somerset 9 and Riverside Olympic 9, Launceston City 4, Launceston United 3 and Alveston 1. Ken, your game was refereed by Patrick Galloway, a young referee who had his first game at Premier League level. What did you think of his performance? I thought he did a very good job. He handled the game professionally. He was in control. Um, it wasn't a difficult game to handle. It was physical but not nasty and he made the right decisions at the right times. And the referee's assistant, Robin McCarthy, did very well. She was very decisive in her decisions. Yeah, the, our first goal was borderline, um, but she had a flag up straight away and gave the goal. So, yeah, she made the right decision. Uh, Ross Hinckley, who cleared the ball with his head, he claimed it wasn't over the line. How did you see it? Uh, d difficult from my angle, but there wasn't a lot of reaction from the Kingborough players, so I tended to go with the lines person. Now we go into the final game of the weekend that we've got on film, which is Clarence at home to Metro Claremont. A very difficult game for Metro, Ken. They lost 2-1 in the end, and I believe there was a bit of an altercation between the coach and a couple of his players. As a coach, what do you think of that? Well, I find it difficult to take. Um, you know, the coach is in control. He has to make decisions during the game. Some players might like it, they might not. But they've got to accept his decisions and get on with the game. Would you concur with that, Farrell? Most definitely, yes. Well, thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you, Ken, and thank you, Farrell, for being our guests and our co-host, Ken, and we'll see you again next week.